There's been a deadly shootout at a checkpoint in East Ukraine. Conflicting reports suggest between one and three anti-Kiev activists are dead. They were gunned down by attackers suspected of links to the near-fascist right sector movement. And there were also reports of casualties among the extremists when self-defense groups responded to the raid. Journalist Graham Phillips is at the checkpoint in Slavyansk for us right now. So what happened here is that in the early hours of the morning, a convoy of four cars pulled up to this checkpoint some six kilometres outside the city of Slavyansk and immediately opened fire on this checkpoint, which was manned by anti-Kiev activists unarmed. We have reports of three of them being immediately killed. What they did was relay a message into the city and members returned on the anti-Kiev side bearing heavy arms and returned fire on the attackers with, as we can see, these two cars behind me destroyed. We do have reports of two killed on the side of the attackers who many have connected, many have uh, reported as being members of the Pravi sector, this of course being the far-right neo-Nazi organization responsible for a series of terrorist attacks around Ukraine. I've got bullets in my hand and we have bullets littering the ground around here with a death toll reported as being five at the moment, marking this as the sharpest escalation of violence here in the east of Ukraine. Reports that members of the right sector are heading to or already are in Ukraine's rest of southeast have been circulating for a while. Previously, the ultra-fascist organization whose leader is running for president has repeatedly rejected Kiev's demands to disarm. And uh, Graham Phillips also talked to one of those locals who were guarding the checkpoint when that attack took place. And here's his account of what happened there. We were here manning the checkpoint and saw four SUVs approaching with their headlights on full beam. One of our guys asked them to turn off their headlights, show their IDs and open the trunk. Instead, a rifle barrel came out of the window and shot him down. Immediately people jumped out of the cars and opened fire on us. They started throwing stun grenades and yelling, get down! Our guys scattered, running into the woods. Some of them tried to run back to the city, but there was a sniper cutting off their retreat. The first guy who came out of the wood was immediately shot by the sniper. So that was the second person they killed. There was another guy with him, and he just hit the ground and stayed down, unable to move. Very soon, reinforcements came from the city. There was gunfire from both sides. Then the attackers realized that they were outnumbered, jumped into two SUVs and drove away. The Russian Foreign Ministry has issued a statement condemning the attack in Slavyansk. Moscow says Kiev authorities are failing to neutralize the extremist groups despite the agreement achieved in Geneva to de-escalate the crisis in the country. Russia is outraged by this provocation, which shows that the Kiev authorities are not willing to subdue and disarm nationalists and extremists. Surprisingly, the tragedy happened after Russia, US, EU and Ukraine's representatives signed a joint statement urging the conflicting parties to refrain from violence and provocations. Russia insists that the Ukrainian authorities must meet their commitment to de-escalate the situation in southeastern Ukraine.